Well, I mean, you know, it, it, arguably it's had a little bit of bad press over the few over, over the last sort of few years, but it's really coming back into its own now. People are drawing these cocktails from from relative obscurity back into the, the sort of the the, the, the sort of public domain these days. This is absolutely one of my favourites. Mm. It's kind of a variation on a classic called the eggnog. But what you've got here with um, with Warnings Avocat is pretty much a one-stop eggnog shop. Okay. I'm trying to say that after a few of these. And uh, the Snowball recipe is it's a very classic recipe. Uh, we're going to drink it cold. It's built, so it's very simple to make. Um, Advoca is made from a mixture of egg yolks, uh, cream, and a brandy base. Mm. So it's a really, you know, the, the, the images that, get, that are conjured up in your mind are very much of that sort of, you know, a luxurious, mm. sipping type cocktail. I must admit that I've drunk um, Warnings actually in the summer with ice quite a few times because I, I love the flavour of this and um, it works all year round, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. I mean, yeah. all these drinks for me, as I said, you know, it's. I don't really say oh, you can't drink this now because it's, no. it's Christmas or you can't because it's winter or because it's summer. You know, there's a time, it gets cold in the summertime in this country, yeah. so, you know. Okay. Oh, okay as you can is, see, oh. it's a beautiful it's like viscous. Custard. Well, I mean, it's not, it's not a million miles away from it. I like to, I like to make, allow people to taste the alcohol in my drinks. So I'm not, I'm not going to be too shy with this. Uh, I'm going to make sure there's a nice healthy glug of, um, of Advocat in there. I'm going to use fresh lime. Okay. People do, you can use lime cordial in this, but I like the sharpness of the fresh lime. Yeah. And I'm just going to pop it in over the top there. Obviously, I'm going to stir it a bit. Now, when you taste this, if you say, oh, it's, I'm not quite getting the lime coming through, I'll just simply add a bit more. Okay. Similarly, you'll notice with all of these drinks, the glassware is different. You know, the, the, you taste with your eyes as well as with your nose and your mouth and, yeah. and the feeling inside your mouth. So, you know, try to use glasses that are a little bit fancy and it's very simple yeah. to do. They're like works of art, Ben. I, I'm loving what you're doing. <laughs> Another really nice thing to do at Christmas time or at any party time is to um, is to put your glasses into the freezer. Certainly, if you're if you're, um, if you're making if you're making a very basic champagne cocktail, with say the creme de cassis and champagne, yeah. pop your, put your glasses in the freezer about five six hours beforehand. You've got these beautifully chilled glasses, which again makes your drinks stay colder for longer. Yeah. So it's quite a key thing. It's all about keeping them cold, isn't it? It is really, yeah. Unless of course they're hot. So you're not shaking. That's true. You're not shaking this because the fizz will go. Because I don't want to lose the carbonation. Okay. Exactly that. Um, and what I'm going to do with this, I might just have a slightly different angle on this and I might just take some lemon here and taking a, a common garden potato peeler just take a little zest off that what this is going to do is just lighten the drink a little bit the essential oils from the from the lemon will sort of will, will, will sit on top of the uh, on top of the drink itself so as you're approaching the drink you get you can smell it on my fingers already so you get that nice really fresh smell on the surface you are the golden Ramsay of the drinks world I don't I know. swear half it's as much as no, well that's good we're not going to swear today <laughs> I'm getting really excited. <laughs> so we're going to pop two straws in. I don't want the straws to be too big because I want them to be able. To, I want you to, to have the lemon right up there by your nose. Okay. But if I made the straws too big, then of course you'd miss out on that part of the fun entirely. Let me just pop that in there. Okay. There we go. So this is Warnink's Snowball. It is mm -hmm. indeed.